everyone! So for today's video, isituturo ko ngayon sa inyo on how to manage your phone kung kayo ay may bagong phone na binili. So di ba tayo pag mag-uumpisa is kailangan natin talaga na mas malaman natin kasi nga friendly user o smartphones yung ating mga gamit. Uh, like me, ang gamit ko talaga starting pa nung nagbablog ako is uh, smartphones ang gamit ko lamang. Phone lang, wala ako talagang camera o mga DSL na ginagamit. DSLR pala. So, in this video is, uh, I will teach you on how to manage your phone settings. But before that, sa, sa mga bago dyan sa aking channel, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chris TV, at pindutin lang ang notification bell sa inyong kanan para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga upcoming happening moments. So, enjoy and sana uh, mahook up ninyo at map kuha ninyo yung tutorials ko on how to manage your phone settings sa mga bagong phone. So, thanks guys and enjoy! One, two, three, come on! So, we're here now sa ating settings. So, how to manage our phone settings kung tayo yung may bagong phone. So, first is the dynamic lock screen. So, in this is keep things fresh with a different image each time you're torn on the screen. New images every two weeks and so you can choose up to five categories. So, nandyan lang sa may ating screen na pwede tayo magpalit up to five categories. Then, yung ating second is ask for a Wi-Fi password. So, ask contact who are already connected to a Wi-Fi network to share the password with you. So, kung makiki-Wi-Fi tayo, so, as lang natin yung ating uh, Wi-Fi uh, or internet provider o yung may-ari ng Wi-Fi para mas mailagay natin dito sa Wi-Fi uh, settings natin yung password para magkaroon ng internet access. So, dito naman, so, keep your fingers happy in landscape mode. So, did you know... You can see, use different keyboards laid out in portraits and landscape views. Try the split keyboard for easier reach in landscape view. So, in this time naman, tayo is uh, how to open in split view with application edge. So, you can open an application in split screen view by dragging it from the application edge. So, sa ating edge lang, makikita mo yun kapag tayo na sa mga Android 10 or 11 na. So, in this time naman is save your current split screen layout. So, paano ba? When you're running application in the split screen view, you can save the layout as an application pair. Open the application edge panel and tap to reopen the application pair later. So, as you can see in the video, okay? So, nandito na tayo sa how to swipe to undo or to redo pag tayo magta-type. So, undo your last edit by swiping left on the keyboard with two fingers. Swipe right with two fingers to redo the edit. So, makikita nyo naman dyan yung dalawang blue circle kung paano pag redo at mag-undo. So, this time naman is how to get your notification with a swipe. Sa notification with a swipe. So, kung makikita ninyo sa video, see your notification by swiping down anywhere on the home screen. Okay? So, ganun lang kasimple. So, in this time naman is reach the whole screen with one hand. So, if there's an area of the screen that you can reach, swipe down across the center of the bottom, of the bottom, of the screen to temporarily scale down the display size so you can reach everything with one hand. So, ganun lang yung pag redo o yung pag yung sa whole screen in one hand lang. I-click nyo lang sa may middle or sa may center. Okay? And then, stay quiet for a while. So, kung paano mag-stay ng quiet, just click the mute button and temporary mute. Keep your phone quiet for an amount of time that you said. Then go back to your previous sound mode so you don't miss any calls, messages, or notifications. Okay? So in this time is get the full screen experience naman tayo. So swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go to the home screen and swipe up 
and hold to the view your recent application. To go back, swipe inward from either side of the screen. Okay? So, yan. Napaka, ano naman, mas madali naman dito kung tutuusin na makita ko yung full screen experience natin. ba diba? Sa may gallery. So, and the last is show your flow naman. Record what's happening on your screen. So, you can uh, show others. You can also record yourself or write on the screen at the same time. That's the perfect uh, for making tutorials. You can start also recording in the quick panel. Okay? So, this time, yan lang po ang aking maibigay na tutorial sa inyo in this moment. So, I hope na naka, uh, uh, nakatulong ito sa inyo sa mga may bagong phone sa inyo. Guys, sana makatulong itong quick tutorial ko sa inyo. Thank you, thank you so much.